Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Today's math problem of the day says four times X plus two over eight equals 4.5. So the first thing I wanna take note of is the fact that I have a fraction on the left side of my equal sign. And I'm not gonna deal with the part that's in the parentheses. I don't wanna deal with the X plus two for a minute. I just wanna deal with the four over eight. Although they're not directly on top of each other and they're kind of staggered, this four over eight is a regular fraction. So what I'm gonna do is simplify that regular fraction. If I were to simplify four over eight, I would be left with one half. So now I'm gonna rewrite this problem, but instead of writing the four and the eight, I'm gonna write the one and the two. So it's one X plus two over two, and that equals 4.5. And now I'm gonna take it a step even further, and I'm actually gonna erase that one, because whenever you have a one, and your numerator position and there's other terms up there that the one is going to get multiplied by you actually don't have to write it it's like just having a coefficient of one the variable just takes the value itself and it just clarifies that i myself am only represented here one time so it's kind of like no point in putting that out there now we can solve using inverse operations so i can see that the left side of the equal sign is being divided by two. So I'm gonna multiply the left side of the equal sign by two. And I have to do the same on the other side too to keep this thing balanced. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm left with X plus two and that equals nine. Now I'm subtracting two and I'm left with X equals seven. Then if you were to go back to your original problem and plug in seven as your X value, you would see that you're gonna get 4.5 on the left side of the equal sign, which is accurate to what's on the right side of the equal sign. Guys, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, here's tomorrow's math problem of the day. See if you can solve it before I do. Then head over to supereasymath.com and click on math videos. Once you're there, you can have access to all of my videos where I teach everything in order with notes the way you need it.